I'm like right in the middle of trying to clear out every single window I got. One of them slowing my computer down just so uh, we can stay connected. Our fine studio up there in uh, Adel and that uh, big 500 foot tower to send it out to the world this morning. Talk 92.1, welcome to our final hour. You heard Joe Brownlee just before the last hour. George, uh, Joe's with uh, Georgia Power as well. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. And uh, in on two wheels as promised. John Quarterman and John. Good morning to you this morning. Good morning. Bemis Road has sidewalks and they might be faster than driving. We could have put two wheels up on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, afraid I've run into a bicycle. Uh -oh. Hold on. Let's see if we can't fix the, uh, the Riverkeeper sign so it stays on camera. The Swanee Riverkeeper banner fell over. We're doing radio TV this morning. Watch for this on YouTube later. So I'm John S. Quarterman. I'm the Swanee Riverkeeper with Walls Watershed Coalition. And I'd like to commend these two gentlemen for the idea for the night's fair cleanup. Let us hang around together on that 11-mile paddle last time. We'll come up with a dozen ideas. Of course, people gave me a hard time, that picture of Joe with his boot up in the boat. They're saying, you didn't help him out of the boat. I said, I asked. He Wait. wanted to stay. I, I weighed my options and, and sitting in the boat enjoying watching y'all eat lunch seemed better than trying to climb that, that muddy bank. So yeah. that was a great day. The, and in January, the weather was perfect. Mm -hmm. the, the river was perfect. The river was perfect. Uh, the Brooks County Volunteer Fire Department there, they were, you know, they had their shirts off, uh, took a little stop, and took a swim. They up. Those yeah. guys are right. I hope they come along in this next one as well. A bunch, bunch of guys. Uh, we may have a couple of linemen uh, paddling down, the, down with us on the 18th. Uh, they tend to have a little fun themselves from time to time. Good. And John, I'll uh, give you a word of encouragement or two as well. Prior, or excuse me, after that paddle, when we started publicizing it, when we started putting pictures out, people were coming out of the woodwork saying, hey, next time, next effort, next, That's right. next fundraiser, next paddle, uh, please include us. So I think, I think what you and I have talked about in the past, um, to, to be able to set up a, an outpost, to be able to market, to be able to enjoy our waterways is something that we all, the goal we all hope to achieve. Oh yes, everybody's for clean water. I've not found a single person that wants to drink or swim or fish in dirty water, which is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Well, one of the things we like to do is let the public know how they can access our, I mean, we have great natural resources, mm -hmm. but the uh, uh, Every guy on the street doesn't know how to access those resources. And this this brings light to that. I didn't know about Knights Ferry until we started talking about the clean up chain. Well, people in the city boat also didn't know, but I won't go into that. If you want to know how to get there, um, exit 16 on I-75, go on to US-84 West, and then turn left on Rock Ford Road to Knights Ferry Road. Just keep going till you come to the end of the road. Till it ends. That's then, right. It's a dirt road and then it ends and you're there. Right now you'll find it underwater, but we hope by April 18th it'll be good. Yeah, so Joe mentioned the average Joe out there on the street as well. Do not put a boat on the water right now. No, no, it's way too high. It's going too fast. You'll be running into trees. Overhanging branches will get you. That's the most dangerous thing on the water as well. We, One of the most dangerous things. We found that out on our paddle. That's right. A very experienced paddler got caught up on a branch and, and, uh, and it uh, capsized her. Well, that, that's true. Even the most experienced paddlers do have this happen. And they're not in so much danger because they know how to handle it. But if you're new and you don't, that, that's the danger. Stay with the group as well. Yep. And then it was a great team effort to retrieve her paddle and her gloves <laughs> as well. Alrighty, and I must mention Brooks County. Brooks County is also a co-sponsor along with George Power City of Valdosta on this walls paddle, and it's a great thing. I did ask, uh, it's hard to see the camera to work, but, um, I did ask uh, Madison County when I went to their board meeting uh, Friday, they choose instead to do cleanups in Madison County. Makes sense. Right. There's also a commissioner from Swanee County for there, and he thought they would do the same. So it looks like we're going to have a series of cleanups on the Withacoochee and the Swanee on Saturday, April 18th, in celebration of the 70th Earth Day. Beautiful. So they're going to coordinate on the same day. Uh, just just in their own backyard. By coordinate, they're going to hold their own. Yeah, I got you. And um, I'm going to try to find out when and where so we can help publicize them. Well, we'll send pictures along from Mars, too, because I expect a large turnout. Again, people, April 18th at the Knights Ferry Landing. A cleanup at the landing itself, and then guess what's going to break out? Well, one, a cookout by George Power, but two, a paddle about six miles in length. Correct, John? 
That's right. It's about six miles, three and a half hours. I do have to bring up something related to the news you were discussing earlier. How do I know this? Well, I, I turned on Gretchen's car and Scott's voice comes on. She listened to him on the radio. Yes, thank you, Gretchen. So you were discussing the virus. We have to consider that because the paddle itself, people are dispersed on the water, it's not really an issue. The issue is the shuttle. When people are coming back from the downstream landing, they're all crammed together. So we gotta think about that. Not not making any decisions now, but we gotta think about it. Yeah, and we're also what, the four weeks out to the paddle, correct? That's right. Um, let's hope a lot of this has waned and that's starting to prove true in some of the uh, the countries of origin for this, that their, their uh, reported cases are starting to decline. Let's hope it's got a quick season. Well, that's true. In China, of course, they started way earlier. Yes, we will watch and see, but I just got to mention it's a concern. And uh, we just decided this morning to pull out of the Wild Azalea Festival in White Springs, not this weekend, but the next because our most older uh, booth people are self-quarantining. And with that condition, I can't recommend people go there. Yep, and, and more susceptible too. That's, uh, I did an hour on a White House briefing yesterday um, with about 5,000 others as well, healthcare mayors, healthcare professional mayors and otherwise. And, uh, and their, their repetitive message was for the, the elderly and those with chronic conditions. They, they were even saying it has not proven true for, for uh, children and even younger children as of yet, but that's still obviously a, a, an area that we all want to be careful. But for elderly and for those with chronic conditions, they, they were the most concerned and they were, they were emphasizing the most care. That's right. And the most caution. That's right. And, and this as well. Right. And of course, there's another issue which we're all aware of. I'm holding up the yellow caution signs that we made regarding uh, high fecal bacteria detected by a citizen sampling or government agency avoids drinking, swimming, wading, fishing, or ever contact with river water. These are actually still up at Knights Ferry and Nankin. We hope by the time of April 18th we can take them down. What we're seeing right now, um, I'm not so sure. However, let me commend the city of Valdosta. I do this because it's flabbergasted when I do it. <laughs> For testing the Withcoochee River three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all the way to the state line, and the Monday test results are good, which is good. However, we've been seeing repeated episodes of high contamination on the river, apparently not emanating from the city of Valdosta. See, they did it twice. Uh, apparently coming from Brooks County. I don't really want to say more about where the likely uh, sources are until we have more evidence and we talk to them because you know, I don't want anybody pointing fingers that might be inaccurate. Now you're actually heading upstream to try and find the source, correct? Upstream on Okapilco Creek in Brooks County. All right, so listen, we, we like to think, as you, you uh, and we like your reaffirmation too, we like to think we're getting our house in order. Um, but that, that doesn't stop at our backyard. We want to we want to work with you and we want to work with surrounding counties to see if we can't eliminate that because our part might be a major part, but again, we can't enjoy that riverway until everybody's in the line. I, I'm glad to hear you say that because people downstream would really like Valdosta to do just a little more having to do with things like uh, expenses. We take, um, our, again, we're a regional hub, so we're, we're going to take that seriously even when it uh, translates to our waterway. So you, you can. Uh, okay, so what's unique, what I see, I've lived in an area about seven months. Mm -hmm. what, what appears to be unique to me is the way everybody's working together. I mean, it's, it's a common goal to make our. River's cleaner, our waterway's cleaner, and not five of that, but work together to make good things happen. What noise that way, though? Um, mm -hmm. we, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. I've seen the, the transformation just the seven months I've been here. Yeah, it's a commitment. Uh, of, again, even before my, even before my uh, me entering into this, uh, that's what they were working toward. Um, something I... I yeah, chair, Chairman Slaughter was there to kick us off at the, the last paddle. Yeah. And I think he... Said he might be there to kick us off on this one. Well, let's get him in a boat this time. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try that. He says that he grew up on the Little River, particularly in Trickville uh, boat ramp. Is he still invited? He has a John boat, a kicker, a little. Uh, he's still invited. He hasn't committed to anything. Um, and it was Lowndes County, along with uh, Walls and Pioneer testing in Brooks County about this contamination. And the mayor and I will talk more about that later. I don't want to go into a lot of detail about that. I will mention, as far as cooperation, the Swanee River Water Management District decided uh, Tuesday to try to find funds for ore testing downstream in Florida, and the Madison Health Department has been doing relatively frequent testing. We need even more, because the only way you can find out when this stuff is happening is to test. You can't just sit around and wait for a spill, because uh, this isn't coming from spill. It's from almost certainly non-point sources. So again, that's why we stepped up. Your encouragement, one, but two, um, we didn't want you. We didn't want it to just be our word. Hey, we're, we got our house in order. We wanted to prove it with six points of testing, um, and as you're suggesting, more. Yes, and. Um, did he just call me? <laughs> hey, I'm flabbergasted. It was worked in there somewhere in the middle. <laughs> you, got, you, you got it on camera already. Right <laughs> oh, my God. All right, there's, there's definitely more to do. As I said, Mayor and I will discuss that later. I don't really want to take up a lot of time on that, on this particular interview. Uh, this this cleanup is a great thing. Uh, we do lots of cleanups, but having George Powell in the city of Austin involved. And Brooks County. And Brooks County. And, and, Brooks County. and Lowndes County, because Bill um, Slaughter has agreed to grate that road and make it um, accessible, obviously. It's probably in bad shape after a flood. Lowndes County is also involved in two other ways. Lowndes County uh, makes the road signs that go at landings, and they made one for Knight's Ferry. It's actually been stolen, but we hope they can make another one and put it up. We're making, they stole our signs, too, our water trail signs. We're making more of those and putting them up. So, so you just, the sign is probably in some teenagers. Better wall now. Oh, probably. It's either that or being used as a shooting target. <laughs> of course, they're doing that even before they stole them. The other way that Lowndes County is participating is we have a long standing agreement. We collect the trash, bag it up, put it in one location, Public Works comes and gets it. Beautiful. So, yes, Lowndes County is participating, although not agreed to be named as an official co sponsor. Now, what do you think we're going to find down there? How much, how, much, uh, how many pounds, how many bags? you think we're going to be cleaning up down there? Well, every time we clean there, we get a few hundred pounds, and it's uh, there's unfortunately a lot of blo broken glass, glass bottles. We're going to find a lot of plastic bottles, including Nestle bottles. That's a big deal, but uh, a different topic. And um, a fair amount of metal stuff. Uh, we have gotten a lot of tires out of there before, so we'll see. And, of course, the ever-popular cigarette butts, the most common item. What, uh, our guys took a drone down there. And, mm -hmm. and circled over the landing and looked it out on the water and they're just seeing a lot of cans, yep. uh, beer bottles and like I said, a TV. Yeah. Uh, so. Are we picking up um, limbs and, and the like as well in this? Because well, no, they, those, those are natural. Those will uh, biodegrade by themselves. I mean, if they're like obstructing the boat ramp or something, sure, move them out of the way. All right, uh, people, April 18th at Knights Ferry. Uh, John, one more time with the directions heading out 84 to the west. Right, uh, 84, if you're on 75, get off at uh, exit 18, head west. 16? 16. Exit you're 16, right. sorry. 16. Turn uh, up from 84, turn left on the Rocky Ford Road, then you'll come to Knights Ferry Road, turn right, keep going to the end of the road. It turns into the dirt, then at the end is the boat ramp. Beautiful. And we're asking that you join us at 8 o'clock in the morning for the cleanup. And then somewhere around 11, we might hit the, right. the river um, after we get that done. And uh, again, the guys at Georgia Power will have the grill out there. Yep. We, we need a hot dog or sausage, put it on a bun, and hop in our boats and there you sail go. down the river. Up. And uh, i got to throw a shout out to a couple of guys. David, David Metcalf, was, he's our chair of our citizens group, citizens of Georgia Power. A lot of this was his idea, and uh, mm -hmm. he, he really wanted to do something for Earth Day. And, we're glad to help. Uh, Don Hutchinson has walked, talked to the folks at the county about getting the road graded and the landing. Mm -hmm. there, there are a couple of uh, low spots in whole water there at the landing that, mm -hmm. that uh, I think they're going to help us with. Mm -hmm. So it, this turned out to be a co uh, coordinated effort to make mm -hmm. a good thing happen. Uh, everything's positive in Valdosta right now. On Earth Day, join us at that Knights Ferry Landing. Join us for a, a full day of cleanup and then a full day on the, the second half of the day on the river. 
Um, obviously, the, the river keepers will give you plenty of information how, how you can be part of their, their gathering as well. And John, um, not doesn't cost you a thing to come down to Knights Ferry and help us clean up, but if you want to take the paddle, how about, how about a donation? That's correct. If you're not a Walls member, it's $10 a person. If you are a Walls member, which is only $25 a person or $40 for a family, then all our outings are free for your year of membership. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. We want to help them out in the, any way we can. Um, we might figure out a different way to do that as well. So that can Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah, well, uh, I'm not going to I'm not going to commit, but we're going to do something so you can continue your testing efforts. And uh, the cleanup, once again, it's free. And even if, due to the virus, we make some decision about the paddle, we could always just drive down to Nank and have clean up there as well. Um, well yeah. John, what about your, your Facebook site? All the information about the paddles on your site. On oh yeah, it's on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and of course our blog. Uh, look for uh, Swanee Riverkeeper or Walls.net. That's two W's W W A L S. Walls.net, SwaneeRiverkeeper.org, or just look for Swanee Riverkeeper on Facebook. All right, we'll continue to push the April 18th date and the event itself, Earth Day. A clean up at night's ferry landing and then uh, a nice paddle and some uh, some fellowship on the river as well. It's a good thing. We should do more of this. I agree. I agree. Matter of fact, uh, Joe and I will float along and set another date, another event as we, as we go down the river. And I promise to get out of the, I'll get out of the boat and get in the picture this time. Just to prove <laughs> you can do it. Just to prove I can do it. So, <laughs> don't, if, don't film me doing it, but, uh, but I'll be there. Yeah. Um, Thank you to, to Walls, thank you to all river keepers um, out there, thank you to Georgia Power, um, of course our radio station, City of Valdosta, Brooks County as well, uh -huh. I don't leave anybody uh -huh. out, and I'm going to go ahead and, and say Lowndes County because they're putting forth so much effort, um, even if they're humble and don't want credit for it. <laughs> and, and Madison and Swanee County, Florida, even though they're not directly co-sponsors, they're doing cleanups on the same day. Yep, thank, thank you all down there, thank you for your patience, uh, thank you for accepting our apology up here as well at one point. We'll see how it plays out. So Did you hear that? He said apology. Oh, I, I gave it to him personally. Um, I think I think all along, John, um, that's what they wanted to hear. Well, and you know what form they would also like the apology in, but we'll discuss that later. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no promise there. But, right. All right, uh, listen, uh, April 18th, we hope you join us. Um, we'll have extra boats out there as well. Um, if, if we if we do, we all love our boats, so be careful and treat them as your own. That's right. As well, That's right. we hope you come out for the cleanup, and we hope you join us for the paddle as well. We'll give you details. And now, till then, till then, go to WWALS, and once you hit that, you're already there on Facebook. Very good. Yeah, you'll, you'll see the option. Joe, thank you. Thank you. Good to see you here. Yeah. John, thank you very much. Thank you both. Thank you for your continued efforts on, on our, our blue ways, our waterways um, throughout Georgia and Florida.